My mother once said, what you see when you look at an archival film are resurrections taking place. I call them home movies because almost every project that mum worked on, she had us kids working on it too. The family is the major thing in my life that has given me the courage to be the kind of person that I am. My mum was right there filming all of this, just indiscriminate violence. At that time I was, I was really scared for mum's safety. I've seen a lot of things. I've seen unparalleled horror in terms of physical suffering. But the fact is, when you have children, you have an investment in the future, and so you come out fighting again. This boy called me names. He told me to go back to my own country. I had friends saying, oh, my parents told me we're not allowed to play with you anymore because of what my mother was doing. Why are you doing it? Why, why, why don't you just stop? For Indigenous cinema, it really does trace back to Merita. She is the grandmother of indigenous cinema. It was about changing history. It was about changing the way native people, Maori people, were perceived by the rest of the world. And does that contrast with the way you feel you're seen in New Zealand? Very much so. I don't think people regard me as a very valuable resource here as much as they regard me as a nuisance. <laughs> she reminded me that my point of difference in filmmaking is trying to maybe take a serious situation and inject it with a lot of irreverence or humour. Once the work shows that you're capable of doing something, then all the other prejudices about race and sex may perhaps fall away. You know, as the adult looking back, if I had to do it ten times over, I would do it. I would do it all again with him. So that's a little bit of information to start out hippies research.